Hello, my name is David Petrusha. I'm the author of, oh, a number of books on uh, presidential history and elections. But long before I started doing that, I was a Marx Brothers fan as a little kid. And where does it, where does it begin? I think it began for me uh, with You Bet Your Life. I mean, it was on every Thursday night. And it was on even on the radio, on what was left of NBC radio. And so it was a tremendous influence on me. I remember going into a diner uh, with my mother. Uh, and the guy behind the counter would always call me Groucho. I think I had a bit of an attitude even then. Uh, it wasn't just my quick wit that was being uh, uh, alluded to, shall we say. And then, of course, all the films. All the great films, the Paramount films, which kind of took you back to a world which was just beyond, oh, anything that you knew anymore. And uh, they were great. All the other films were sometimes great. And um, uh, one of the first books I ever bought was the paperback edition of Groucho and Me, um, which... Um, I soon followed up with, with the hardcover edition, which I think cost six bucks, and I had to special order it, of Harpo Speaks, which was even better, and which introduced me to, more so, to the world of the 1920s, the Algonquin Round Table, all of those people, um, and a shout out, I usually don't say the word shout out, it's too modern, uh, but a shout out to Noah. Uh, and to all the folks who put uh, I'll Say She Is together. I, I had the opportunity to see that during its run, and that was a great experience. Some people say I, I write funny stuff, funny history. <laughs> uh, but it, it, if I do, I think it traces back to my love of comedy and the spoken word and the Marx Brothers. And so to... Groucho, Harpo, Chico, and sometimes Zeppo, you know, thank you for a real lifetime of enjoyment. You know, you go through life and you change your thoughts on many things. And you say, what was I thinking? Or it was a youthful indiscretion. But with the Marx Brothers, no, I've stayed faithful to them and, and they've stayed faithful to me. So thank you all. And thank you for this great uh, podcast, which I enjoy so much.